Hey guys, what's going on? In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to install Magento on a cPanel web hosting. It's provided by charcoal.com. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. First thing you want to do is you want to go to magento.com. Then underneath the products drop down, you want to click on open source community edition. Now you want to click on view available downloads and from here you have to have an account with magento.com or magentocommerce.com that's going to allow you to download all these files so go ahead if you don't have it create one if you do log in and from here you want to select the format you want if you're doing a local installation on your event or exam server or similar you can go ahead and download a zip file if you have a compression where you can go ahead use the compressed file tar in this tutorial we'll use the tar format so we'll go ahead and we'll download that and after it's downloaded we'll go ahead and upload it using an FTP over to our server so let's go ahead and download and then go into our cPanel alright so now you're looking at the cPanel um, what you do first and let me just briefly show you here if I click on the file manager that's gonna show me that I have my tar here so let's go ahead and extract all the files from here so we'll select it click on extract oh, it tells us it's complete we'll go into the folder now you notice if I go back here you notice that it extracted all the files into a folder called Magento for me. So if you want it to keep it into a folder, it can be your abcd.com slash Magento. You can keep it in that subfolder. Or if you want to have it in your root directory, you'll just double click it. You'll select all of your files and then you'll click on move files. And what this is going to do for us is going to move all of these files from the subdirectory into a root directory and when that is complete we'll go back we have the Magento if we go ahead and um, go back into the cPanel we want to scroll down and create a database that we'll need to use so if we visit the URL it's gonna give us the installation wizard but we're not ready yet to go ahead and proceed with the installation because we need the database so under the new database we'll create a Magento database and once that is created we need a new user so we'll call the user Magento as well for demo purposes you want to call it something else on your live environment but for this demo we'll just use that now also for the password generator I like to use the generator itself versus me coming up with you know a password this way I know it's secure it can be whatever I'll select it I'll copy it and I'll use that password for this user so we'll create the user go back and you notice that we have the database and we have the user created as well now what we don't have is the permission for the user to use the database so we want to go ahead and do that so you'll select the user and the database and click on add and we're gonna give it all privileges for this database so the user has all the privileges for the Magento database now that is created we have the database we have the user we know what they're called we'll go ahead and we'll go back in and go ahead and proceed with the installation so the first step is the welcome screen you agree to the terms and conditions you'll click continue and you'll select the time zone whatever time zone you're in if you're Eastern time central time and so forth you can select that so we'll go ahead with the Eastern Standard Time and we'll click continue now this depends on if you're installing it locally or not but the database connection type is going to be MySQL we'll do it under localhost the database name however is going to change because notice here that we have a different database name so we'll use this one here and um, let's go ahead and type that in and the username is also going to be the same as the database because we use the same one and that's not something you want to do in a live environment um, but you can go ahead and change that we'll paste in the password we copied from the password generator we used and again that's the database name that's the user name and this is the user password 
and the table prefixes if you wanted to create a prefix for your magento tables such as you know magento underscore something or abs or whatever prefix so you can identify the tables from any other database tables that you might install down the road in the same database as well but if you don't have that or you don't have any need for it you can just leave it blank and you don't need a prefix. Now the base URL you can leave it without the www or you can just add the www to it. The admin path is going to be whatever uh, your administration URL. So for example it can be backend, it can be control panel, it can be anything where you want to go and administer your e-commerce Magento store. So you'll type in your domain name dot com slash your admin path. So it can be admin or whatever you choose to do. So we'll just leave that as admin. Um, we'll go ahead and use secure. If you have an SSL, you can use secure URLs. If you don't have an SSL, leave it blank for now. You can always add it later. The save session data, I prefer to do a database versus file system. So we'll just select the database here and click continue and now it's running the validation process and it should tell us that it's complete alright so it completed and we're good with the configuration now the administrative account you can go ahead and create whatever your name is um, or whoever's name you want to use so you can go ahead and use their information and info at your domain Oops info at your domain .com. username can be your username password password now encryption key um, you can leave it blank because the system is going to create it for you automatically and display it on the next page or if you prefer to use your own encrypted uh, encryption key already that you have uh, you know from your own generator you can go ahead and just paste it in if you don't you can just leave it blank and click continue uh, the password does need more characters so we'll type in one two three four one two three four all right continue now we're all set and this is the encryption key I was telling you about and this is where you can actually copy it you can skip the magento survey if you don't want to do it you can just leave it blank it's just gonna submit it within the iframe to magento servers um, go ahead and copy the encryption key for later purposes for your own self so you can use it uh, later down the road but if you go ahead and click the front end it's just gonna give you the magento 1.9 uh, website so the default theme without the products if you wanted to install demo products go back to the magento.com scroll down and you'll see underneath sample data you can download the zip file or tar compressed file and download that and then install it and run it into your database and that's going to install sample data such as the products inventory so you'll have some inventory products here and if you're modifying the theme you have that flexibility to go into the theme and actually view how the product you know pages are going to look like or the category pages or whatever you're programming and developing you can actually view it like you know real time or if you're like me you can just go ahead and you know create one to five demo products for yourself depending on which store you're creating so you'll have all the sample data based on that and you just run it from there so thank you for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comments and have a great one